Hey, you salty scanties, and in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys the top five worst cookies in Cookie Run Kingdom. Now, you guys may be asking, Dad, the cookies are not the worst. There's not the bad cookie. No, there's plenty of bad cookies, and I'm going to be showing you guys my top five worst ass, most belligerent cookies in the game as of right now. So, guys, let's hop right into the list, starting off with number five, the boy, the man, the myth, the, the thing, the legend, the candy man himself themself whatever it is candy diver cookie candy diver guys is just not very good so let's talk about why he's not good i'm sure you guys know why he's not good he does have the safeguard ability which doesn't make him the worst cookie on this list i think he is by far better than the rest of the cookies on this list but still out of every other cookie in the game pretty bad so let's talk about his ability while wandering the depths of the dust gloom sea candy diver cookie has become immune to enemy attacks by obtaining the safeguard ability their regular attacks reduce the defense and increase damage received by the enemy's nearest enemy. Upon using the skill, Candy Diver Cookie will discover various relics from the deep sea, providing buffs and healing to the cookie's allies. The super success rate will increase depending on every Candy Diver Cookie's amplified buff rate. And basically the effects you can get are increased amplified buff, uh, healing, a defense bonus, and an attack bonus. And which two of those are good? Uh, Amplified buff bonus is not good. And also the defense bonus is not good. Uh, really the one you want to aim for is the rare relic, the black pearl shell. Which gives you 15% healing uh, over 7 seconds. Uh, Amplified buff, which is not good. Like I said before, attack 25%. Um, and honestly guys, it's just it's just not good. Even that, even that relic's not good. Because you can literally get the same thing from pomegranate. You can get healing and you can get the attack buff from pomegranate. Without having a chance to get it. Though Pomegranate can die, which gives, you know, a little bit of advantage here. But you have to actually have a chance to pull it. I've showed this off in multiple videos, so I'm not going to show him off here. Uh, you can go check those videos out if you want to see the gameplay with him. I, I, I just refuse to use him now. We'll, we'll use the, the worst cookies on this list um, in testing and stuff like that so I can show you guys what's up. But yeah, guys, this is our baseline as far as as far as far the fifth worst cookie right now in the game, I think. So yeah, let's hop into number four now. All right, guys, so number four on this list is going to be Werewolf Cookie. And you know how you guys normally say the third time's a charm? Well, definitely not for him because uh, Death Sisters has buffed this man three times and he is still dog shit. So guys, let's hop into what his ability does, why I think he's kind of bad, and we'll put him into some tests here and see why he's really bad. Alright, talking about Werewolf's ability, he takes his wolf form, causing area damage in wolf form. Werewolf Cookie has increased HP, becoming resistant to interrupting effects, and does more powerful double strike regular attacks. Targets hit by double strikes may be stunned. Uh, so he transforms with 20% of his HP for 10 seconds. Single hit target damage is kind of ass. Regular hit during transformation is kind of bad too. Um, and he has a 20% chance to stun for one second with each regular attack, which honestly, Walter Cookie's just better. All right, guys, and to show Werewolf's true power, we're gonna be taking a Werewolf into 1127 here. Uh, just to get a basically a scale of uh, the damage here, damage survivability. This gives us a good boss fight at the end that does a good amount of damage. Also, we'll see how much damage he gets, does it get to a bunch of enemies. I couldn't speak. Wow, we honestly. Not too bad right now. Not doing too bad. Jacob Cookie is not doing too bad right now, guys. Uh, he does nice AoE damage when he transforms, which is pretty good. Uh, he also gets a little bit of an HP buff, too. Uh, so that's that's also decent, right? Uh, he does do a... Dude, he's, he's not bad. And he, he's getting some healing back also when he transforms back, which is nice. Uh, absolutely giga chat it up, bro. Jacob Cookie meta. Now, as you can see, he does get AoE damage. He does not do good single target damage. He's just not really there for that. Uh, uh, he can cleave through stages fairly easily but when you get to the boss that's where he struggles at as you can see right here not very good at all for single target uh so yeah that's why he's kind of bad also he, he um he does survive a bit longer than i had on my sheet here so i mean that's good i guess uh yeah we're gonna proc the revive off he's not gonna be able to kill raspberry the amount of time though guys so yeah let's hop into an arena match now and see how he does in arena and guys if you want to see this testing done live make sure you check us out at twitch.tv forward slash youtube can't see me we stream here every day at 2 p.m cst also guys for daily content, I try to do daily content anyways, uh, every other day content, make sure you follow us and hit the bell icon on the way out. Because I noticed that only 95.3% of you guys are subscribed to the channel. 
So, you know, drop a uh, drop a follow. That would really be much appreciated. Or maybe don't drop a follow. It's up to you. But anyways, guys, back to the video. All right, guys, we're going to take Werewolf into a matchup here against a summoner comp. Uh, let's see how, how decent he can do because he does have AoE damage in the front. So let's let's just see let's see what he does here. He's running full almonds, 47% damage resist. Uh, oh, he's dying fast. Oh, he's dying fast. How much of a heal will he get, though? Maybe he'll get a decent heal when he um, transforms and reverts. Oh, he's dead. He is dead, boys. Guys, as you can see there, he just can't survive in arena uh, or really anywhere for that matter. So uh, let's move on to the third cookie now All right guys moving on to the third worst cookie in the game And that is going to be fig cookie now guys when fig gets a candy fig's gonna be in the top five best cookies You watch just you watch just remember you two you two told me so you two told me so anyways guys Fig cookie is the third worst cookie in the game right now to me uh, Talking about the ability here really short read the sound of figs cookies jelly horn calls upon a flock of angry fig birds that swarm at the enemies dealing damage surprised by the sudden attack the enemies suffer from reduced attack single hit damage 386 percent which is a bit more than werewolf cookie does and uh negative 25 percent attack for seven seconds which is not bad now fig does do more damage than um than werewolf cookie chili pepper cookie um sparkling cookie candy diver cookie uh but the problem with fig is that uh they only do reduced attack for 25 five percent uh, and that's just not good in this day and age you need to be able to do multiple debuffs and cause more damage if that's going to be your only other debuff uh, also a bit squishy too fig does die pretty quick uh so just keep that in mind guys yeah let's go ahead and hop into a boss fight here and let's hop into an arena match to show off what fig can do all right guys hopping into 1127 now with fig uh using full almonds so yeah, let's see how it goes here. Uh, a little bit, le actually, a little bit less damage out the gate here. Oh, I forgot because Fig doesn't do constant AOE damage like uh, like Werewolf does. Uh, so actually, maybe a little bit less damage than Werewolf. Uh, just overall because uh, he transforms and does AOE damage, whereas Fig uh just does AOE damage every. 10 seconds. Okay, we got the revive procked off, guys. Oh, we did make it past these enemies, though. So that's a plus side. All right, guys. Now on to the raspberry boss. Let's see how much damage Fig can do here against the raspberry boss. They they can't, they don't stand a chance against Fig. Trust me, guys. Look at this. Honestly, the ability does more single target damage to the enemies than Werewolf is doing to this boss. Uh, so bigger, bigger single target damage with a Fig. AoE damage is a little underwhelming because, you know, no transformation and it can only do AoE damage every 15 seconds so yeah on to pvp now all right guys taking fig into an arena match now uh we did an arena match before but i trolled and didn't put the toppings on so we're bringing pearl back in i mean we're bringing fig back into another arena match now to see how much damage they can do this time uh they had only two toppings on them before but now we have max almonds 47 percent damage reduction big big damage fig big damage. yeah fig killed them I think Fig, you saw that, guys. Fig killed them. Honestly, I don't know if Fig should be on this list. So Fig did a uh, whopping 598,000 damage with no healing. Let's hop into the, the second worst cookie in the list. All right, guys. So second worst cookie in the list is going to be a uh, sparkling cookie. And for reasons you should know why already. My man right here has atrocious healing. This man, this man only heals two cookies. Honestly, Custer Cookie the third is better at healing. His HP pool is really low, so he dies really, really fast. Crit can't help your team out, but I think HP shield is a little better. Um, and he really doesn't have many other uses let's hop into a couple things here and see what he does of course guys he will be running full almond uh with 47.7 percent uh damage resist to see what he can do here all right guys hopping to 1127 to test uh, my boy out here let's go he's got the bag boys my boy's never gonna die here look he's never gonna die bro guys i take it all back sparkling cookie is kirito from sao episode three remember that episode where he's a beater and he's just taking all those hits this is him except uh, Kirito attacked him, and he can't even attack. Let's hop into Arena. All right, guys, hopping into our uh, our PvP match here. Uh, let's see how Sparkling does. Maybe Sparkling can heal me enough to, or heal two people enough to, to really make a difference here. Hopefully, maybe so. Yo, Sparkling, you wanna you wanna give Daddy some healing, please? Sparkling is dead, guys. Sparkling is revived though. What a big heal from Sparkling Cookie there. This is him with max damages, guys. Guys. This is bad. Uh, Sparkling did 1 million healing while, while, while Finn did, did almost the same amount. I think we can move on to the worst cookie now. All right, guys. And the worst cookie in the game is, of course, going to be Chili Pepper Cookie. Guys, Chili Pepper is just dog, dog awful. I've already recorded a video, video with Chili Pepper. 
that might be coming out before this video. It might be coming out after this video. I'm not sure when, but you'll see the video of uh, of Chili trying to solo every boss in the game. And you'll see how well that went. All right, guys. And now we're going to get into the long, expansive, huge, extremely big ability of Chili Pepper. Sneaks behind the enemy, causing area damage to the rearmost line. With four strikes, the final strike always deals critical damage. Single hit target, 79%. Now, I'm sure you guys don't need to, me to explain to you guys why this is so great. But, guys, uh, this cookie just dies really quick. Uh, they do little to zero damage, and there's no extra effects. Uh, uh, you know what, guys? I'll just take into, um, take into something here to prove it to you guys. Now, guys, you might be saying, you too, you should be using full almonds on this cookie. I cannot, because if I use full almonds, uh, chili pepper will not kill anything. So, I have to use full raspberries to actually kill an enemy here. We did great damage there. If that was full almonds, it, it would not have killed the enemy there. Yes! Chili Pepper doing maximum damage right here. Chili Pepper's gonna get a revive here, but that's good, watch. Oh, we only killed one of them, damn it. All right, guys, and now it's time for Chili Pepper to face the raspberry boss and Chili Pepper completely missed. Chili's doing immense damage, guys. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so bad. How do you do less damage than werewolf? All right, guys, I, I, I'm sure you guys want to see what happens if we take Chili Pepper into Arena. We'll show you guys that now. All right, guys, we're taking this Arena match here. This team is just using full healer, so we're going to see the true damage output, true damage potential of Chili Pepper Cookie. This is great, guys. Look at this. Look at this damage right here. Chili Pepper is doing massive amounts of damage, guys. Dude, Chili Pepper popping off. Look at the big damage. Chili. <laughs> Chili just killed. Chili just killed right there, boys. Watch this fucking huge chili. Hey, guys, just get chili down to the one minute mark. Chili, <laughs> chili did bleed. <laughs> chili, chili, 30 seconds popping off. Guys, chili pepper did less damage than fucking fan. <laughs> All right, guys, and that's going to conclude our list here. If you guys have any thoughts or opinions on my list, I know a lot of chat said that sparkling should be on the list, but I hate sparkling. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys think a cookie should be on this list that wasn't on there, let us know in the comments below. Uh, yeah, guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next one later. Bye-bye. <laughs>